Are you looking to buy a house in Woodstock, Ontario? Are you curious where all the new builds are at? Maybe you're looking for a 70s bungalow or something more historic, 100 plus year old homes. Woodstock got all that and more. I've gone on Google Earth and mapped out all those houses for you. So let's just jump into it and check it out. All right, here we are on Google Earth. So I've overlaid a bunch of colors so that we can see what we're doing. Let's start by hiding everything. All right, we're starting with the 100 year old houses here. Um, these will be your historic homes of Woodstock. Generally, your 100 year old homes are going to be close to downtown and a little bit north of 59 here. Um, kind of a long day at the tart. Prices and sizes in this. Uh, you can get small two bedrooms for that are less than a thousand square feet, It'd be around four hundred thousand um, dollars. Your larger five bedrooms, uh, three thousand plus square feet, can be up closer to a million. So big range in here. Switch over. So you're going to see a lot of overlap with these um, mats here, uh, just because you know stuff isn't always just built perfectly. Uh, in certain year ranges, so 50 to 100 year old homes. This is going to be the bulk of Woodstock. Again, there's going to be a big range of, of prices and sizes and all kinds of properties in this group. Um, I would say the average price in Woodstock is pretty representative of this group of homes. Um, so that, as of the recording today, is December 2023, and the average Home price in Woodstock was $615,000. All right, moving into your 30 to 50 year old homes. This is going to be your 70s and 80s bungalows. Um, most of them are in the 1500 to 2500 square foot range. Um, be around 500 to 700,000. So you got a cluster here kind of all along Lansdowne Avenue and then down in your south side park area um, and along Parkinson. Uh, these are going to be great for investments and putting a little bit of sweat equity in you know 70s bungalows some of them might still be outdated so you know picking that up doing some cosmetic renovations but I think the rest of the house will be pretty solid most of the time. All right we got a couple of areas for the 15 to 30 year old homes. Um, getting into those um, mid 90s, early 2000s, uh, you're looking at like raised bungalows, two story homes, um, very open concept kind of living areas. You know, most of the living is uh, on the main floor and then the bedrooms are upstairs. Uh, these will be in your 2,000 square foot range, somewhere around there, high 600, 700 thousand um, dollars. So if you're looking for something like that, you're gonna want to be looking up in the top corner here, and then kind of close by the hospital. All right, zero to 15 year old homes, mostly newer builds. Um, again, two story single detached houses, and lots of townhouses in this category. Um, Again, 15 to 2,500 square feet, and a lot of these ones will be a little bit higher in the price range, um, 700 to a million dollars, depending on, again, square footage, bedrooms, all that. Um, this here, you're gonna be looking at Perry's Lane, Tollgate, and coming in just north of the Piddock Conservation Area. Um, you can kind of see here in Google Maps that that area is still under development, and uh, we'll get to that in future videos. But uh, if you're looking for stuff that's completed, you're looking this De Devonshire and Lansdowne kind of corner up here, and then again down by the down by the hospital. A lot of this is complete and newer builds. In the Juliana Drive area. All right, hopefully that helped. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to learn more about living in Woodstock, Ontario.